If you want to be the best, you got to work at it every day. Get up at 6, hey, eat, get dressed and stuff, come to school at 6.30, work out from 6.30 to 7.20, go to class, uh, come to practice, after practice, go home, run some hills, either do some sit-ups, do push-ups, uh, pull-ups, weights, and then uh, do this leg machine, and then shoot on the machine, go out with my brothers and stuff. So yeah, it's day-to-day, uh, -day, hard work every day. Lonzo played college ball for one year, earning first-team All-American honors before the Los Angeles Lakers selected him in the second overall pick of the 2017 NBA Draft. He was named the NBA All-Rookie Second Team in 2018. As a high school senior at Chino Hills in 2016, Ball was awarded multiple National High School Player of the Year honors and led his team to an undefeated record, as well as a national championship. But before the success of his senior year and in college and now pros. Has Lonzo always been this good? Stay tuned to find out. Lonzo always stood out from the rest of his peers when he was young, not because he was an extrovert and outgoing from others, but because of his size. By middle school, he was already taller than the average American adult, which is 5'6". According to Steve Big, Alonzo's former coach at Chino Hills High School, Zoe's lean frame made him look even taller than he was. In the summer of 2010, when Lonzo was just a sixth grader, the Chino Hills High School hosted an all-ages summer basketball camp ran by Coach Bick. Lonzo, Mello, and Jello attended the camp and impressed Coach Bick with how well the three performed drills. On the final day of camp, Lonzo's caught Bick's attention we finished the camp with some full court scrimmaging and he dribbled through a player and threw a full court length bounce pass perfect timing and it hit the guy perfectly in the stride big said if i were to have a varsity player at the time make a play like that i would be impressed as a sixth grader the fact that he did that i just knew that at that moment this guy could potentially be an nba player do it just do it Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! The summer before Lonzo's freshman year of high school, Chino Hills held tryouts for their basketball teams. Lonzo would regularly arrive an hour and a half before everyone else to shoot by himself, Bake said. And he just has such a high basketball IQ. Um, he learns things, you know, so quickly and, you know, on top of, uh, you know, his skill set, it's, he's just a phenomenal player. Chino Hills wasn't the powerhouse they were ultimately become, though they did have a few talented players. Cameron Curry, the Huskies starting point guard at the time, was named the team's MVP his junior year after making the Sierra League first team and was drawing attention from Division I colleges. So coming into high school, Lonzo had an uphill battle to make the varsity team, but he did. Not only did he make the team, he also started as a freshman alongside Cam Curry. Cam Curry would go on to make the All Sierra first team again as a senior, and so would Lonzo as a freshman. Lonzo also earned an honorable mention of Max Press freshman All-American teams. Everything went right for Lonzo that season until the second round of the CIF Southern Selection Boys basketball playoffs. The Huskies faced off against Rancho Verde, who had only lost one game in the regular season. Chino Hills was undefeated. As expected, the game was tightly contested with neither team able to pull away in regulation. But with 10 seconds left in the game's second overtime period, the team was tied. Chino Hills fell asleep on defense and allowed Rancho Verde guard Jalen Hall to get off a floater. Coach Bay recalls Lonzo being devastated but he also remembers something else that impressed him. He was the last to leave the locker room as a freshman, Bake said, and that wouldn't be the last time Lonzo experienced failure in the playoffs. The following year, Chino Hills would lose 
to Stanley Johnson in the modern day in the Southern Selection Open Divisional Finals. Johnson scored 28 points, including the game's winning free throws. In Monzo's junior year, he averaged 25 points, 11 rebounds, 9 assists, 5 blocks, and 5 steals. But they lost in the regional finals to Centennial High. And that right there was enough for Lonzo. You know, for a reason, you know, Lonzo Ball is a special kid. I mean, he's not a freshman. You know, he makes unbelievable decisions. He's skilled, he's talented, he's athletic. You know, he, he's going to be one of the best players to ever come out of Southern California. He was not going out like no sucker his senior year. To join him, he finally had both his brothers on, on the team, freshman Mello and junior Jello. There was no denying that his playoff failures bothered him, and he would make sure to make his senior year one to remember. Competitive people, you know, when it comes to basketball, you know, they, they want to be the best, and uh, the thing that separates them compared to, you know, anybody else is their confidence. They feel like they can win any game. The confidence is, is attributed to their hard work. I, I've never seen anybody work as consistently nor as hard as they have, so that confidence is something that's innate in them. Coach Bake knew his team was better and he challenged it with a talented schedule for 2015 and 16 that included games from one coast to another. The Huskies beat teams from nine different states and had 11 victories against teams that had been nationally ranked at some point during the season. The Huskies beat Brooklyn Jefferson, which just won the New York State title, as well as Las Vegas Bishop Gorman, the Nevada State champion by 17 points. Other wins are over state's runner-ups from Georgia's by 31 points in North Carolina twice, once by 25 and the other by 12. Chino scored over 100 points or more 18 times, tying the state record. There were a handful of other occasions they scored in the mid-90s, but Bake pulled his starters early. We all knew this team had a chance to be special, but a lot of things can happen along the way, Bake said. Right now, it is a little overwhelming to think about. When asked how far do they think they will make it on the road to the state championship. Uh, just, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. Uh, nobody knew about me for a minute and then I hopped on the scene. So as long as you just keep working, keep trying, you'll get there. Chino averaged 98 points per game in 2016 with Jello and Lonzo averaging more than 23 points per game. Lonzo also broke Jason Kidd's state career assist record that season. Zo averaged a triple-double with averages of 23 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists per game. He received national honors, including the Naismith Prep Player of the Year, Morgan Woodman National Player of the Year, USA Today Boys Basketball Player of the Year and Mr. Basketball USA. The Huskies were ranked the number one team in the nation. In the playoffs, they defeated Modern Day by 48 points, Sierra Canyon by 22, Foothills Christian by 20, and Bishop Montgomery by 22, all of which are among the nationally ranked, making their average margin of victory in the playoffs 30 points. With the help of his brothers, Lonzo led Chino Hills to a 35-0 record to the state championship in 2016. Lonzo already knew what it felt like to lose. So this time he wanted to know what it felt like to be a winner in his final season beating De La Salle 70 to 50 in the final. Jello with 18 points. Elijah Scott had 16 points. Lonzo finished with 15 and Melo finished with 14. Lonzo was seven for 17 from the field. Also had 10 rebounds, five assists and five steals. Once a local high school basketball phenomenon, Lonzo blossomed into a national star. It is really crazy because we've got this tight-knit group and sophomore and junior year, we could go anywhere and there would be no problems. Then once they went 35 and 0, 
that dude Lonzo could not go anywhere in Chino Hills without someone asking for a picture or a signature autograph. He's literally a superstar out here. One of Lonzo's high school friends said, so it is safe to say, Zo did have these skills ever since he was a youngin, back from 2010 when he was at that summer basketball camp. Was Zo and Chino Hills 2016 basketball team the best high school team to ever touch the court? Let's talk about it in the next video. See you there.